parents loved space. Her first step was one giant leap. Her first word was gravity. And with each birthday, Una's cakes became ascendingly astronomical. You can see her there when she was younger. She's got all the planets up above her, so she loves planets. Look how cool her cakes are. Little spaceship and huge. Looks like a sun one. Now, after a few more laps around the sun, Una lives in a world of cosmic curiosity and intergalactic inspiration. We've got the moon, she's got her observation book there, an actual meteor. <coughs> All the stuff in her bedroom has to do with space. She's even got eat astronaut ice cream. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds cool. I'll try some. Una dreams of a life in space. Life on Earth is just so, well, so-so. One day, Una will become an astronaut. She will leave the Earth behind. And you can see here she's got some pictures and some facts about the Earth. So the Earth doesn't have fancy rings like Saturn does. Meh. So she thinks Earth's a bit boring. The Earth doesn't have a go-getter name like Mars. See Mars there? The Earth is named after the ground. Dirt. Soil and mud. It's not very exciting. The Earth can't zip through space like a comet can. But for now, she is an astronaut in waiting. Una very much likes the astronaut bit. But she is not so keen on the in waiting part. It will take some eons to grow this tool. She's got to be this tool to become an astronaut. Do you think she can wait? No. <laughs> But here's the good bit. Una has been industriously working on an interplanetary plan. Wow. She's just thinking about, what do you think she's thinking about? Maybe leaving her. With accompanying attire, of course. So she's got a fish bowl helmet. Sorry, Neil. So that's her fish's Neil's uh, bowl there she's stolen. Poor Neil. Handmade, uh, hand me down uh, snowsuit from Big Cousin. Carl, so she's borrowed that from Carl to make her astronaut outfit. Carl's ski gloves, slightly too big, but they will do the trick, so they're a bit big at the moment. She might grow into them. Mum's dusty all-white Uggs, <laughs> made in 1995. I was born in 1995, tells you something. And today is the big day. Today, Una will finally swap her humdrum, ho-hum life on Earth for an extraordinary extraterrestrial life in space. Once she has packed a picnic and said so long to Neil, of course, there's little Neil, and he doesn't even bowl anymore, because she's got that. What's she got? She's got some DIY oxygen tanks for recy from the recycling bin, lots of tape, she's gonna need to hold her suit together, and some pieces from the shed, so some tubes. Do you think she's prepared for space? No. She thinks she is. Her mission to find life in space. But she will have to get there first. Her first attempt didn't go so well. It was a fail. Soda and mints.